I am in Racine, Wisconsin, and right here I have an abandoned Office Max right here. How can I tell? Check out that beautiful label scar up there. Unmistakable label scar. Now, not only am I going to do that, but I'm this this whole strip, most of the strip mall is empty except for the Home Depot over there. So let's go take a look at this abandoned Office Max. Well, let's actually go over here first and then we'll uh, check out the Office Max. Okay, let's see what this was over here. This, if I can find the label scar here. Okay, so. Anna's Linens, that's what that was, see? Check out that label scar, Anna's Linens. Okay, so let's just get a cup, poke a couple, poke my camera in a few windows here, and then we'll go next door to the office, Max, and then we'll see what else there is. Okay, so this was a, Anna's Linens in this strip mall here. I don't know the name of the strip mall, I'll have to... I'll, I'll, I'll get that in the title later on. I see a sign over there, so... But yeah, this was Anna's Linens. And just a plain looking store, I guess. So... Alright, let's go check out the Office Max over here. Okay, so this here is an abandoned office max. Okay, so I guess that's where like a checkout would have been or something right here. See, look at that ceiling. There's some like like red light fixtures or something, drop light fixtures. Free delivery, you see that back there. You see like where all the shelves used to be. Okay, here's the entrance. It's for lease. Yeah, it looks like this this strip mall's not doing very well, obviously. There's some, I see some newer shopping. See, I'm not from this area, so I don't know much about this area. But I, I'm seeing, I see newer shopping areas, like in the area, so. That's probably a lot of places, like, moved over there. Or, as you can see, Anna's Linens, I think they were in trouble. And Office Max is in trouble as well. So, okay, let's see what this place was here. Looks like this could have been a clothing store of some type. <laughs> a lot of mirrors in there, that's for sure. Almost kind of reminds me of the that place at the Ogden Mall in Naperville where everything's pretty much dead, you know? <laughs> oh, here we go. This was a Charter Fitness. I see it on the desk over there. Let me see if I can get a close-up of that there. Yeah, this was a Charter Fitness. So it was some type of fitness place. That's what explains all the mirrors. Yeah, let's go see what this was over here. Doesn't look like anything interesting, really. I don't know. Probably something I never heard of, you know, because I am in Wisconsin, so. Okay, this looks like this could have been like an office or something. There's some hardwood floors in that, so. Here. 
Then there's Regency Mall over there. That mall's not doing very well itself. Oops. Kicking rocks. <laughs> there's a label scar I saw on this storefront, but I couldn't recognize the name of it. Yeah, if you're from the area, just help me out a little bit. There's another empty storefront here. It's like a lot of these storefronts have been stripped out. Hmm, this looks like this was a restaurant of some type. Interesting. What it was it looks like nothing I can recognize offhand. Yeah, this was a restaurant of some type. Interesting. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's a big restaurant here. All of this. Home Depot here. Okay, let's walk over here. All right, then. So from this, uh, from this mostly abandoned. Uh, shopping center here in Racine, Wisconsin. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe for a lot more content coming this summer. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall. Otherwise, you'll have this disaster right here. <laughs>